Philip Bloom of The Blooms and Community Workshops here to give you a lightning fast review today of the Peak Design Travel Backpack. So I said we're going to do a lightning round of review here and that's because the Peak Design Travel Backpack uh, is just chock full of uh, features especially for photographers. Now this is a bag that is taken off in the travel world extremely popularly uh, but it's really made for photographers. So if you're using all of the extra benefits and features here, for me, uh, having someone who's kind of tested and reviewed and used uh, maybe a dozen travel bags and camera bags over an 11 year travel career, uh, this is, is impressing me uh, big time with its, its features and innovation uh, and, and how I can use this as a travel photographer. So before we dig in, let me give you just quick background. My wife and I work together. We shoot some destination weddings, some fashion around the world, and we have three kids under the age of nine. So, uh, you know, from a five-year-old up to an eight-year-old clinging to our arms and hands when we travel through airports, down cobblestone streets, um, through countries, un undeveloped countries and villages. Uh, so we, we have learned over the years to really be minimalistic and parse down our kit, our camera equipment, to exactly what we want um, for our workflow, and I'll show you that here in a moment. Um, and then we have tested and tried until we got to this this past couple of months, finally tested something that we're loving here. Um, we just got back from a full month uh, of, of a travel, including through Asia and some undeveloped areas, uh, doing some shoots along the way with our three kids in tow. Uh, so if this can meet all of those challenges, um, I'll, I'll show you why we like it and maybe it'll help you guys as well. I hope it makes as much of a difference for you as it does for us. So let's look at some of these features. First of all, you'll notice that except for these, uh, maybe these red and black bungee cords, which I've attached to the outside of the bag, um, it's a very streamlined, smooth bag. There's no extra, um, it's like sticking out straps or even the arm straps. Where are those? Well, what, let me show you. Um, of course, there are all of these little loops um, around the bag that are just plentiful. They're even in the cup holder here all around the bag where you can add on bungee cords and ball bungees um, and make a really nice um, way to hold your jacket or other items to the outside of the bag, um, other equipment. But other than that, just look at this kind of modern and sleek design. Um, on the every side there's a handle. So if you want to carry this kind of briefcase style or plop it up on a scale or if you want to carry it duffel style from the back, like a duffel bag, um, you can use that. Now. It's really a backpack. So where are those uh, arm straps and, and even does it have a waist belt? Where is that hidden? This is an amazing uh, system. So they're, one of the things I love best about this is that the use of magnets throughout the bag to keep everything streamlined. You can literally just flip open the side of the bag. It'll snap to, um, if you're not holding it open, it snaps right back in place with magnets. Um, but from here, I can literally pull out an arm strap, also down below your um, waist belt, and so that's on both sides. And these aren't just stuffed in the side, um, they're actually on this round, really heavy duty uh, uh, circular swivel joint, um, so that when you take the strap and you want to tuck it away, it literally is sliding and flipping upside down and going flat underneath this magnetic um, edge. So that's been amazing. Every time I get to a security checkpoint, it's really just this fast. Like how do you hide it back away? You just go and hide that back away and then drop this uh, duffel bag style on the conveyor belt for your security checks and x-rays and things. So let's keep these out for a second so we can kind of look at how this looks in backpack mode. And it's just that easy. We've got everything kind of out of the magnet strap. Um, once I put this on, like so, um, one thing that I did have to get used to was with the waist belt here. And instead of a plastic clip that um, I'm used to with a lot of my um, kind of hiking packs and things like that, uh, it has this bouldering uh, clip. So you have to get used to buckling that. But once you do, it's, it's great. Aluminum build. All the metal on this bag is aluminum. Um, kind of a nice brushed look uh, and that's never gonna break like a, a plastic snap would so really high quality the same kind of design here for your chest strap 
Um, another thing you have to get used to, but you just turn that a little bit sideways and the strap comes off on one end. It's completely detachable, so I can also um, put this on either of my straps and maybe use it to carry equipment. But if you're using it for the normal use, um, there's a lot of little pockets that you just strap it into and I can cinch that up, tighten that up. So be careful with that. Um, since it does come off all the way, it could be easy to lose. Um, that's maybe one gripe I would have, but, um, but use it properly and it's fantastic. So that's your, um, your shoulder straps, I will say are much more comfortable um, than the daily backpack made by Peak Design that may, some of you may use as your daily camera bag. Um, so not to be confused, this is a bigger bag. This is a 45 liter bag. Um, I think it holds about 35 to 40 liters in the array that it's in right now, the sort of the, um, the format that I have it in with the zippers and the compression zipped up. Uh, but you can unzip this compression strap or this compression panel right here and that's going to expand the bag out to full 45 liters. Um, we did that during our trips in Asia. Um, we, during this period of this trip, took probably about eight flights. Some of those were, you know, across the Pacific Ocean. Some were little puddle jumper flights from island to island. Um, and this perfectly fit all of our carry-on requirements. So I could max out my space, but it's still carry-on um, approved. So never having to check this bag. Um, the other thing you can do, which I'll show you here quickly before we open the bag up, um, if you are wanting to use this for a shoot as we did in the Philippines, uh, for a wedding couple shoot, um, then there are two sets of buttons here at the top, uh, two pairs of buttons, and you can literally just pinch the bag like so, and they snap together. So I've just taken out a few liters of the top of the bag, uh, but my camera gear, the camera section of the bag, um, as well as my laptop section back here, remain unimpacted. So you can still have those things with you on the go. Um, and then you can unsnap those buttons and pull that back out for your full carry-on size. Um, finally, the way this opens, of course, um, as a travel pack, you don't want like a rucksack style bag that opens on the top. Because then everything's just piled in. You can't get down to what's on the bottom. I mean, you have no real organization. So unlike any bag I've ever seen, um, this is basically, this whole bag is a collection of zippers. Um, just kind of like a mosaic of zippers and compartments that if you open them all up, it's almost like there's not a bag because uh, you can access the bag from anywhere. Um, get out one item anywhere where it happens to be without unpacking all of your gear. So that's, that's great. I'll show you how that works. Um, primarily, if you're a travel, just for traveling, and you're putting all of your clothes for a month in here like I did, including a coat and rain jacket because we traveled through winter, and summer climates, um, tropical climates. Um, you know, the tropical climates are easy to pack for. Light clothes, doesn't take up much space. When you have to put coats and things in here, um, you can check out any uh, of our review videos that we'll be making about this trip on our photographer section of theblooms.co. And we'll go over some of our packing tips that we've learned over the last decade that work fantastically. But in terms of the bag itself, don't you love that snapping sound? Did you hear that? When the magnets all put themselves back in place. We're gonna open our large number 10 zipper here, really strong, they're, they're not YKK zippers, um, which I usually look for, but the Zoom zippers are guaranteed. Um, they're fantastic, this is a number 10 zipper that opens up the back of the bag. And as you can see, that's gonna open our bag just like a suitcase. So you have complete access, if you want to, by opening this panel, have complete access to everything at one time. So that's a big kind of suitcase-like opening. Um, and inside here, the reason the bag's a little heavy for me is I do have all of my travel photo equipment in the bottom part of the bag. So the way that Peak Design does it is they lay out their bags in three sections. And all of the accessories you can buy are built to fill up one, two, or three sections. You can get a full, uh, what they call the large camera bag pouch, or the, the large camera cube. And that will fill this bag and basically turn it into um, a full camera bag. That's all you're putting in is all your camera equipment. And in that case, it kind of would replace, um, you know, your larger, uh, your larger hard cases or, um, I can't remember the name of it, I feel so bad, but <laughs> the case I've carried for years, which is a roller um, carry-on. We'll bring it out here in a second, I'll remember. Uh, but you could replace that with a full camera bag. What I do as a minimalist, um, you could do a 
medium camera cube that takes up two thirds of the bag and still have some room for clothing and such. Or I actually just use the small camera cube um, to carry all of my photo gear. And I wanna kinda of take the rest of this review uh, rather than showing you many of the amazing features um, and design elements of this, I'll, you know, uh, I'll show some of those. There's a place for your laptop here which rests against your back. A lot of travel bags, believe it or not, put that on the outside which adds to the, the weight pulling away from you. But keeping that right up against your back is really smart. Um, there's nice clean panels for iPads um, and laptops. And when I'm going through um, you know, security in the airport, all I have to do is barely open my big number 10 zipper here and that gives me access to that panel with the laptop. So that comes straight out, um, easy breezy. But when I'm shooting, I can actually bring this bag over to my side and every side of the bag has an open panel that you can open this way. And look at that, that gives me access to my small camera cube, which you can kind of keep this panel folded down. I always double zip it just to make sure no camera equipment falls out in an undesired way. Um, and there's my <coughs> camera equipment fully packed in the camera cube. And I wanna show you a little bit of how I managed that. So in my uh, packing, I have, I'll just show you what I have. And the way this is made possible is that the small camera cube um, and all of Peak Design's additional inserts have an origami uh, kind of um, padding. So instead of just big Velcro block pads that you put inside of most of your camera bags, um, these are similar, they'll they're, they're Velcro in, you can customize your setup and your organization, um, but they also flip and fold. So when I put in one insert, um, I can put a lens down at the bottom of that and then flip over the origami little shelf and I can put another lens on top of that and max out the space but still have everything safe and protected. So what do I have in here? How do, how do I fit all of my camera gear? Well, we did just make um, a switch about it, you know, months ago. Uh, completely over to Sony and I'm, we're using a mirrorless system that is, I love the compact nature of the Sony cameras. So we're using A7III's. Um, in here I have two, so count them, one, two Godox um, Pro X triggers for our lighting. I love off-camera light, so we've got all that stuff in here as well, believe it or not. Uh, two X Pros. I have a, my small, now I've got a larger Godox uh, strobe, the AD200 that I need for powerful light for fashion shoots and things. But I also have this just as a backup or as a hair light, a backlight. And it's the Think Light flash, which is very small, um, just accessory additional emergency backup flash. Uh, so that's in there right on top. And then I mentioned we carry, I have four of my four favorite lenses. I have a classic 55 millimeter. Um, I have in here a 24 to 70 that I use. Again, these are much smaller than my old lenses, but I've got the millimeter I like and the, the um, zoom uh, there. So 24 to 70 uh, as a backup lens, really. I like using primes, but I've got that backup in there always, especially when traveling. And then on this other side, I've got my 28 millimeter and my very favorite portrait lens, my 85 millimeter, which I can just access that easily. All right, so I can put that back in there, flip down the little origami shelf and put that back on top. And then in the center, I have two camera bodies. So I like to shoot um, with two camera bodies on each hip here. Um, but uh, if I'm just shooting one camera, it also functions as a backup. Um, so if, if, one, if something happens to one camera on the road, I'm always backed up. And then they have another organizational pocket in the camera cube for batteries and my memory cards. There are special pockets for those sealed up. And that's about it. So I've got everything I need. Two camera bodies, four lenses, two flashes, and uh, two triggers in that small uh, compartment. And lots of room to pack the rest of my gear for, for a, you know, clothing and everything um, for, a, for a month long trip or longer. We went from the Philippines to mainland Asia and then straight to WPPI in Las Vegas. So I had to stick my suit for the awards ceremony um, and here's well, believe it or not. So my fine suit, uh, how did I get that done? Well, here, here's how I kind of got that done. So the way I did that, there's a um, front panel here, which although you can open this and 
open another panel to access the main compartment. You can open just this and I folded my suit nicely and put it in here almost like a little uh, soup holder. But in this compartment you have a complete uh, digital organization pouch, which is fantastic. They have pockets that really just fit everything I happen to have perfectly. They must have thought this out pretty well, but um, in one pocket I've got my uh, core, my battery core recharger. I've got places for all my adapters and pens. Um, I've got a place where my uh, laptop camera uh, square goes along with a international uh, electric, electric adapter. And then the rest of the stuff I just dumped in this nice kind of rubber see-through pocket. So you, you've got some good visuals of what you have contained without having to open it up every time um, through that mesh rubberized feel. Speaking of the materials, guys, it's great. The whole bag is uh, a 400 vinyl canvas, uh, except that the, the bottom here is just a really uh, heavy 900 vinyl canvas. Um, so no marks, no, no uh, scratches on the fabric, no kinds of tears or nicks after a month of crazy travel and abuse to this bag. Um, and I've, I've appreciated that greatly. Um, there's even more organization in this panel divider. So I've got um, a pocket where I can put my reflector. So I've also got some other you know, modifiers in here. I have an umbrella and a reflector um, sort of crammed in there. And there's other pockets as well. I've got all my cords and stuff just stuck in the middle uh, where I would put my suit, coat. Um, but then on the front of this bag, there's two more pockets I want to show you that are very handy. At the top, you have a, a bag where you can put your passport and quick access right at the top for you. Um, I also put my battery chargers in there with my uh, passport and wallet. And that's excellent. And then at the bottom here, you've got another magnetized pocket that I didn't find for a week that's until a week after I got this bag. But another magnetic pocket that you can pop open. Um, and stick maybe wet items in there while they dry and are allowed to drip out of the bottom, um, which is a much better design than a lot of these uh, bags that have a big bulging pocket that gets in the way and snags things. And it's usually facing upward, um, I guess so that things don't fall out, but also it doesn't allow them to drip dry very well. Um, this one is magnetized, so it can be upside down and also flips out your uh, rain cover for the bag. Uh, so if you're in a torrential downpour, that waterproof rain cover is a great accessory that you can add on. And there are clips inside here where you can just clip it in. Um, you stuff it in there, the magnets draw the pocket closed again. Um, and even if you don't have the rain fly, I haven't had to use that yet. Uh, the bag is pretty darn water resistant. So all the zippers, uh, besides going up under little, what I call little roof lines, uh, to keep water from draining into the zipper, um, the bag material itself is water resistant and every, every zipper on here has a really cool lock and loop system where I can literally um, snap one around the other and then button it and a crook is not going to be able to open it quickly. Uh, of course you can undo all that and get in um, if you're not using a TSA approved lock on here but in the meantime that keeps it kind of snug and secure um, to keep thieves from messing with your bag as they try to go by. Guys, last thing on the outside of the bag here are um, two big pockets that are, can, are massive and expandable. So what I love is I take something out of here like all of my Magmon modifiers um, and it flaps tight against the bag again. It has a elastic strap that draws it near. Um, but you have secret pockets inside these bottle holders where I keep my, actually my tripod. How do I fit a whole tripod in here? I don't carry big tripods very often. Um, you know what I do use are these really small gorilla pods, the small ones with the magnet feet. Um, and I have two different attachments, one for flash, uh, one for iPhone. And uh, these are great. You know, even for a pocket sized flash, a normal size flash, these will support those. And I'm, that's what I'm usually using tripods for um, rather than for cameras. Um, so you even see a lot of people traveling with the big gorilla pods. Uh, but if you're using it for flash, this, this does the trick, so give that a try. So I've got that in my secret little pocket behind the bottle um, pouch. And of course, uh, just to give you an idea of how big and spacious these are, you can put your tripod in there. I've got my community um, insulated thermos 
in there. And guys, it's, it's, it's good to go. It's just, I have loved the uh, comfort, the ease of access, the, the innovation of this bag, and I uh, highly recommend it. So um, it's got a lifetime guarantee. Give it a try. I think you'll be pretty happy to. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, get in touch if you have any questions about some of the other accessories and how we use them. Um, we'll, we'll get some of those tips on how we pack on our website, theblooms.co. Have a great month and good travel.